Hey guys, today we're going to share our snow day protocol with you guys. Winnie loves the snow. She does not love sitting like this, so we won't make her. Uh, but she loves going out in the snow and exploring. It's a beautiful day now. The sun is out and shining. We got a little light powder this morning. So I thought I'd take you guys with me. But first, I'm going to show you where we store everything for Winnie's snow gear. And then I'll show you how I get her dressed to go out. So we're in the mudroom now, and this is where I keep all of Winnie's things. She actually has a bin up in our closet. It's a little dark. Sorry, it's for her out of season things. Um, but during the winter, I keep her two mascot coats out, her fleece coat and her pu reversible puffer. They're both reversible actually, I believe. Maybe the fleece one isn't. I have one of these long, um, who are these by? Far-fetched towels, which are great because you can put your hands in either side and kind of like, you know, if, the, if your dog gets really wet, dry them that way. I have these little princess, hand mitts that I found at Target, which are great when just her paws need to be dried off. This is the leash she's wearing currently. It's by Upcountry, and the tag is by Red Dingo. It's got a little snowflake on it. I like this one. This is her uh, January, February um, leash because it's wintry and kind of cute. And then I have my dog walking bag here by Overland, um, which I'm going to put a couple more doggy bags in. I did film a video on what I stock in her winter dog walking bag before. Um, I like to have the baggies already opened and ready to go so when I'm wearing gloves I don't have to take them off. I can just reach into the bag and get, I mean reach into my dog walking bag and get the baggies out. And I actually keep, I usually have three or four in at any one time and I have extra bags that are not open at the bottom of the bag as well. Also in the bag I have my earmuffs and my liner gloves, which I'm going to put on, as well as tissues, um, wet wipes, uh, what else, There's a couple Ziploc baggies, her poncho, uh, some lip balm for me, some emergency money, and I always have my phone with me. Uh, especially important when it's cold or out or any time I go out the, of the house I take it with me of course. Also it's very chilly today so I'm going to be wearing these mittens from REI over my liner gloves, sunglasses because it's bright with the snow, and I'm going to be wearing my North Face long puffy jacket for warmth and these Athleta snow pants as well as a scarf. Now I have to get her ready and how I just start by putting on her paws. These are um, little, they're actually latex, they're kind of balloon feeling paw covers for dogs. These just help to keep the salt and any chunks of ice out of Winnie's paw pads. They're not really effective in keeping her feet warm or dry, but they help with those things specifically. And under this, this is Winnie's cabinet, um, I have backup towels and um, paws. Oh, here, I think I have a package of the paws I can show you guys. She wears a size extra small. Uh, the different colors are for different sizes, as well as extra clean towels and all of that. And lastly, I have prepared by um, just getting out one of those little blue rags that are just for her um, for when we come back. Usually when it's snowy outside, she gets balls of ice in her um, fur around her paws. And I found it, that it's best to dissolve them with warm water. So I give her just a little paw bath after we get home and I take her paws covers off. And then I dry her feet off with this, but I have it all out and ready to go. So now we're going to get Winnie ready. So we start by putting Winnie's paws on, and she's very familiar with this. What you doing? We're going to get your paws on. Um, and I find that the easiest way to do this is to sort of use her um, ankles as a, you know, something to push on to get the paw on. Like I said, this doesn't provide warmth or keep her feet dry. I mean, it keeps her paw pads dry, but not her whole leg. But it does prevent salt, irritants like that, or chunks of ice from getting between her paw pads, which could be potentially hazardous or 
you know, just basically not uncomfortable for her. And these are the only things I found that have stayed stay on Winnie's feet and that she can walk on normally. Now she's got that all done. You can see they kind of disappear under her hair because she's, you know, long haired beauty. So when it's this cold, it's about 12 degrees out today, we wear both of Winnie's coats. Now, typically, I don't put Winnie in a coat unless it's 28 degrees or under. In that 28 to 27 degree range, it's sort of, I just kind of play it by ear because some days it's warmer when it's 28 and some days it's colder when it's 28. Um, the coats are purely for function. It's uh, when you have a long haired dog, it's hard to dress up your animal because the, the matting that occurs from wearing clothing. So I only put Winnie's coats on when they're absolutely necessary and they are. She is hairy, but she does get cold just like anybody else when it's chilly out. Now when it's about 22 to 20 degrees, she'll just wear her puffy coat and this is by mascot, so is the fleece. When it's about 15 to 20, she'll just wear the fleece and anything below 15 we wear both. Um, so I use the fleece sort of as a, a warmer base layer. And to get the coat on, it's really you just got to kind of play with your dog and their hair, and depending on if they have hair or not. You just want to get as little hair as possible in the Velcro. That will prevent further matting. And I make sure it's not too tight, but it is a little bit snug so it's not, you know, moving around on her too much, which again would create more matting. Now we're going to put on the puffer outer coat and make sure we don't get her little hair stuck in there. It can be a little bit challenging when you've got so much of it. But that one I put on even looser because I don't want it, you know, her to be uncomfortable. Lastly, the leash. In it goes. Oop. Again, a little bit challenging with the hair. Sort of a practice makes perfect situation. And I just, after I've done all three layers, two coats and the leash, I pull out her hair, she usually shakes out. And she's ready to go. Now I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna leave. Okay, we're ready to go. We're both suited up. Look how excited we are. She knows it's snowy outside. So we're gonna take you guys along with us and then uh, we'll show you how we de snowify when we get back. Wait for mommy. Got to be careful because it can be icy under the snow, but you can see right away when he starts playing in the snow, she'll even eat it a little bit. She loves the snow. We're going to head to our little park and I'm going to let her run around. She's so cute, my little snow bunny. And we'll let you guys see that when we get there. Oh, wind. So we're just coming up on the park that I'll let go off leash sometimes. She knows what this means. We're not on the path. There's usually like a little fork in the path right here. Sit. Yeah. And we wait. We wait. We wait. when there's no other doggies or people in the park and I keep a close eye on her she's super excited today so we haven't been here this year where there's been quite this much snow I know this is not a lot of snow but it, it's really the only snow we've gotten this year and I just let her <laughs> do her thing she, uh, she enjoys it where are you? There she is. So many things to smell. Happy dog.
paw prints. likes that spot. That's a good girl. Who's a good girl? Come here, you. Oh, come here. Winnie, come. Good girl. Oh, we're eating this now. It's so delicious. It's so delicious. Are we a happy bunny? Are we a happy girl? We are. Let's get our leash back on. Winnie loves eating this stuff. She's so cute. You see her? She's just eating as she runs. Now we're home. We come in. Come on inside. Good. We wait right here. Wait. And then first, do a whole lot of seven piles of layers, and then we'll show you how we get Winnie de-snowified. You can see her little snowy face. I don't worry too much about that. I just kind of pick off the bigger chunks. Um, that doesn't tend to matter up. It's the snowballs on her feet, which I'll show you in a second. And I remove her coats. And I will hang them up after I have her all dry. <laughs> look at her, look at her. And then we're gonna take the booties off. A little pause. And those I rinse off and let air dry by the sink in here. When all said and done. Hold on, wait, wait. Wait. So now, we'll show you out in the better light. Her little snow, the little snow packs around her paws. See, mm -hmm. that will mat up her paws like none other. So what I do is I just rinse them under warm water. Also helps her warm up and keeps uh, them from melting all over the floor. So, wait till it comes up to temperature so I can adjust it. You don't want to scald your dog's feet. I like to test it on the higher part of my arm. Okay, I think that's good. So, try to get as little of her wet as possible, but just enough to melt the snow packs off. There's one. You check your plate. Oh, I know, I know. You're doing great. There's two. And this really just does help a lot in the matting department, surprisingly. I guess as it melts, if you just leave it on, that's what causes the knotting. And last one. Okay. Then, just gonna squeeze her as much moisture as possible. You can see I didn't get much of her wet at all. And then, just gonna dry those off a bit. Yeah, you're so good. You are. You know it too. You say, I'm good. I know it. Okay. Okay, then she'll probably shake it out. Shake? No? Oh, she wants a cookie. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we usually get a cookie at this point. There's the shake. All right, let's go get one. We're going to have a chicken parmesan meatball today. Yeah, you work good. I usually don't make her work too hard for these. She's already worked. There you go. Come on. You can do it. There we go. snow day process. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us and we'll see you next time. Say bye!